Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you the latest feature added to TeacherMade, and that is the ability to create drag and drop exercises for your students. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So you can see here, I'm in my TeacherMade account. I'm gonna go ahead and log in, and I'm going to continue to my account here, and let's create a new worksheet. Now you can do this drag and drop activity from a blank worksheet or from uploading a PDF or an image or a Word document that you have. In this here, I'm going to upload this worksheet I have labeling the New England states. And we're gonna turn this into a drag and drop activity. And so here it is in the editor, and let's first of all give it a name. Let's call it labeling the New England states. And now turning this into a drag and drop is a really easy process. Just click on the snipping tool here and snip the things that are going to be dragged. So I'm going to have students have my students drag the names of the states to their proper places on the map. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to snip all of the names of the states. You'll see I'm going to do that six times, once for each state. And you can see I'm just using that little scissors tool there is a keyboard shortcut you can use of hitting Control D or your space bar, but I'm going to just use the snipping tool there. Now that I've done that, I'm going to create these drop zones by clicking on that little flag icon. And here I'm going to create a drop zone for Maine. And I'm going to create one for Vermont by doing the same thing. And I'll create one for New Hampshire by doing that. And I'll create one for Massachusetts. And I'll make one for Connecticut. And last but not least is Rhode Island. And so we'll make a drop zone for Rhode Island. Now the last step of this is to match these up. So I'm gonna match up my cutouts to their drop zones. And to do that, I'm gonna click on each of my cutout pieces, then click on draggable, and I'll see that there's this little finger icon. And let's click on that and drag it to its proper drop zone. And you can see there, I can change the point value for this. Let's give them five points for each one of these. And so let's do that again for Vermont. I'm gonna go ahead and click on draggable and I'm gonna drag that to Vermont. And again, I'll give it five points. And let's repeat that process. Let's go ahead and hit New Hampshire, draggable, drag that down to New Hampshire, and there it is. And again, make that one five points. Let's do Massachusetts the exact same way. We're gonna go ahead and hit that draggable button and drag it there to Massachusetts, make it five points. And I think by now you get the idea. So let's hit Rhode Island. Let's make that draggable. Let's drag it down to Rhode Island. Let's make it, let's make Rhode Island worth 10 points. What the heck, let's mix, mix it up. Put a little more weight on the smallest state in New England. And let's go ahead here and hit Connecticut. Make that draggable. And we'll put that right there. So I'll now make that one worth five points. So I now have a 35 point assessment. Now, when I'm done with this, it's automatically saved and I'm just going to hit this file menu and go ahead and close it out. And when I do so, I can now create an assignment 
and I'm going to call it labeling the New England States assignment. I'm going to distribute this via teacher made. You can see there's some other options there, Google Classroom, Canvas, or Schoology if you're a teacher made pro user. Let's go ahead and hit next. I'm gonna have my students sign in using their Google account for this purpose, for this demo. You could also create names and IDs if you wanted to. Let's hit next. I like those point values. And now let's go ahead and save that and copy that link. And you can see I can put it in Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or anywhere else I would normally share a link. In this case here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to a student. So a student will see it this way. They'll see begin with Google below to start this assignment. Then go ahead and sign in. It's gonna be Mason. It's gonna be our student here today. And he's going to complete the assignment by dragging main over there He's going to drag New Hampshire into place. He's going to drag Massachusetts into place. Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Vermont. Now you'll see here, I did them backwards. I put New Hampshire where Vermont is supposed to be. For this demo, I want to show you what's going to happen when there's a wrong answer. So we'll submit that. Yes, submit it. And we'll see worksheet submission succeeded. We can close this out. Now, as the teacher, I'll see right here, it's already updated. Mason has completed it. He scored 71.43%. And I can see there which ones he got wrong. He got Vermont and New Hampshire wrong. So. That's the new drag and drop activities that are available in TeacherMade. TeacherMade also has an extensive help document about how to use and create the drag and drop functions and even provides a demo worksheet that you can work with to test it out. And I have a link to that right down below in the description for this video. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.